Kim Kardashian celebrated her recent trip to the White House by breaking out her signature millennial pout for the ultimate selfie, can't wait to share all about the Second Chances event today at the White House, Kardashian, 43, wrote via her Instagram story on Thursday, April 25. Thank you, Madam Vice President, the Kardashian star threw up a peace sign as she posed for a picture on the lawn outside the historic Washington, D.C. site. She also puckered her lips while giving her followers a glimpse at the president's workplace, Kardashian wore a black blazer with her long brunette locks falling softly around her face. She topped off the look with a golden eyeshadow and nude lip. A few hours prior, Kardashian shared a picture of the President of the United States seal from the Oval Office. The reality star also gave a closer view of the White House itself and the lush greenery that surrounds the massive building. Kardashian was on site to meet with Vice President Kamala Harris, who was hosting a criminal justice reform meeting in the Roosevelt Room. The roundtable discussion also included White House Public Engagement Director Steve Benjamin and several recently pardoned former inmates. That I want to thank Kim for your advocacy and for using your platform in a way that has really lifted up the importance of talking about and being dedicated to second chances, Harris kicked off the meeting, according to a video shared by the White House. Kardashian first visited 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue during President Donald Trump's term in 2018 to discuss prison reform, sentencing and ask that he grant clemency to a first-time drug offender. Trump, 77, later pardoned Alice Marie Johnson, and Kardashian has continued to work to help others in similar situations get justice. During this week's meeting, Kardashian commented on Biden's Wednesday, April 25, decision to grant clemency to 16 inmates. He pardoned 11 of the prisoners and commuted the sentences of the remaining five. I am super honored to be here to hear your stories today and I think it's so important to share them and amplify them because there are so many people that are in your position that could use the inspiration, Kardashian said according to USA Today, looking to the four former inmates that were on hand of the discussion. I'm just here to help and spread the word, the scheme's founder later reflected on her work as an advocate for the wrongfully imprisoned, saying, it was actually in this very room that I was in years ago, my first clemency meeting, that really inspired me to take a journey, she recalled, I didn't know a whole lot, and I was inspired to go to law school and really further my education to see what I can do to help. Kardashian announced in May 2019 that she was studying for the bar exam. In December 2021, she said she passed the baby bar exam but has yet to pass the official test and become a full-fledged lawyer, Kardashian appeared to be in good spirits during her White House visit despite recently being seemingly dragged on Taylor Swift's The Tortured Poets Department album, Swift, 34, raised eyebrows earlier this month when she dropped the song Thank You Amy, which eagle-eyed fans think is about Kardashian since the capital letters spell out K-I-M-D-I-N the song. Swift alludes to. Her past drama with Kardashian which began in 2009 when Kardashian's now ex-husband, Kanye West, interrupted Swift's MTV VMA's acceptance speech. West alleged in his 2016 song Famous that the awards show scandal propelled Swift to even bigger fame. When Swift claimed she didn't sign off on West's lyric about her, Kardashian defended the rapper and leaked a phone conversation between the pair, again without Swift's approval, while the feud seemed to calm down over the years, Swift reignited it with her TTPD album and the lyrics that pointed at Kardashian, when I picture my hometown there's a bronze spray tan statue of you, Swift sings, seemingly describing Los Angeles. And a plaque underneath it that threatens to push me down the stairs at our school, Swift also called Kardashian, or rather Amy, a bully who was throwing punches while she was building something, thank you you have successfully subscribed, subscribe to newsletter subscribe by signing up, I agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from what's the gossip deal of the day act fast this Stanley Ice Flow Tumblr is on sale. View deal check our latest news in Google News follow us check our latest news in Apple News follow us you have successfully subscribed. By signing up, I agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from What's the Gossip Check our latest news in Google News Check our latest news in Apple News Kim isn't happy about it but doesn't want to add fuel to the fire. A source exclusively told What's the Gossip of Kardashian's reaction to Swift's Thank You Amy, the insider claimed that Kardashian had 
no idea she was going to be a part of this narrative and was upset that Taylor is still harboring negative feelings toward her. Kardashian hasn't commented on the song publicly, but she told Jimmy Kimmel on Monday, April 22, that life is good.